Okay, I got this idea for leg curls, or uh, yeah, just like the leg. Well, it's the opposite of the leg extension, um, where you just you could use a strap just laying down. Okay, probably nobody on the planet's really given this much thought, <laughs> but I do, because I like to squat a lot. And say you you know you've been doing a lot of squats with your uh, your uh, twerk strap. And your knees may get a little achy because you're only working one side of the knee with uh, the twerk strap, you know. Um, you're just, you're only working everything on uh, the front portion of the knee, all right. And that's going to pull on the knee and it's going to cause a little um, disalignment. And you want to bring that back into good order. You don't have to really worry about work on the sides of the knee. That's more for the hips anyway, and that's that's different. But uh, you want to you want to work both sides of the knee, and you could do that with a strap. I was trying to figure out, you know, can I do it standing? And I find that to be rather difficult. But laying down on the strap and using this yellow thing, I'm trying to decide if I want to make it permanent. Using this uh, as as a thing that keeps uh, these two these two uh, pieces from separating too much um, really help. You want to use a double a double strap around the knee, and you want to be able to hold them together like that. If you use a single, you're going to notice that this strap will just just slide back or forth. Okay, as you're trying to perform the exercise, and that's a little annoying. But um, when you have something that probably probably should be permanent that sits around there and holds everything together, then you can add more force, okay? And what I'm able to do is add force uh, by way of uh, holding the end, okay, laying on it, and then uh, curling this up. Um, and there's there's some tension there. All right. Um, if you if you uh, this is ten feet long, okay, and sewn together, so it's five feet in length. It could be longer, okay. I'm 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 thinking that I'd like it longer. But if you did this on the picnic table, all right, you could probably use the corner of the picnic table, all right, to hold one end, and then you'd use the other end for for the working of the leg. So it's it's a simple exercise, nobody really messes with, uh, because a lot of people just don't seem to care too much about working the uh, bicep femoris. It's one of those muscles that you just you don't see, so you don't really deal with. But I'll just kind of demonstrate, because I I like it. I feel the tension, so. It's, it's something to to give some consideration to. Okay, so you, you lay in, um, yeah, wrap the foot around, get this position around the knee, as you can see, and then hold everything, and, and then curl up. So I'm feeling the tension in the back of the in that muscle on that bicep femoris. Uh, problems are though, I think the strap's a little too short because I'm I'm tucking my hands in trying to hold it all together. And if it could be longer, maybe I could get a better positioning with my hands and holding it. Um, and then also the problem with it maybe sliding a little bit around the knee. This yellow strap helps that. If I sew this yellow strap right on the the perfect spot uh, and then kept it there, then then sliding around may not be much, as much of an issue. But it's something to consider for working uh, the back of the legs outside of the gym. Um, it's it's definitely effective. You don't need bands for it. Just a nice strap.